In this video, I'm going to show you how to draw part 5 in Autodesk Inventor 2019. Looking at the multi view, we have our front, the top, and side views, and isometric. We have dimensions on each of these three main views here. Our front view, we can tell that the object is uh, three inches long and a total of two inches tall. This lower portion being one inch tall. We also see that uh, this piece that extends out that has the hole through it is one and a half inch tall. We see the hole shown by these hidden lines that show in the edges of the hole at the top and bottom as it goes through that part. Uh, you can see that also here. The hidden lines show where that hole is going through. Uh, we know that the, the pieces here are one inch wide. So here to here is one inch as shown here. And also this piece is one inch wide. We can tell that here. Um, the hole we can see is a one inch diameter hole. And the location of the hole is one inch in from this side edge and uh, three quarters of an inch in, 0.75 inch in, uh, from the top edge. So knowing that stuff, uh, we're going to break this into three main chunks. Uh, we'll start with this main L shape. We'll draw that and extrude it. Uh, after that, we'll add this rectangular piece that comes out. Uh, and then the third step, we'll add the hole. Okay, that said, when we start, we're going to start with the L shape, and it's going to be uh, three inches long with a bit here that comes up an inch. And if we know that this part is two inches, and overall the entire thing is three inches, uh, we know that this little piece here go, goes up an inch, and then over to the left an inch, and then back up to meet up at the top. So that's what we'll draw. And, and for this, we're going to use the line tool. So let's, in uh, Inventor, we'll start a new part. Click Start 2D Sketch. And we'll start this drawing on the XY plane. That gets us drawing on that front view. Okay, we're going to start off at the bottom left corner at the origin. Uh, we're going to make a line to the right that's three. Go up one to the left one, up one, and back two. And that should get us there. So, click the line tool. We'll bring the cursor to the origin. When it's snapping with the green dot, we'll click. I'll start moving my mouse uh, directly to the right. I want to make sure it's a nice straight line. Uh, you'll also see that it's showing 0, 0.00 degrees here. Uh, so I'm not going off at an angle like this. You see those numbers are growing 23, 25, you know, 6 degrees, 5 degrees. But here we're perfectly straight. So I want a nice straight line. And we need to go 3 inches. So I'm going to press 3 on the keyboard and hit Enter. My line's three inches now, but it went off the screen. So I'll click uh, Zoom All. Now I can see it a little better. I actually want to zoom out even a little more, so I'll just use the mouse. I'll scroll out and use the Pan tool to get over to the side here. That'll be easier for me. Okay, next, I've got to bring my line up. And it needs to go up one inch. See, it raises up one inch here, then it's going to go back that one inch. So I'm going to bring my line going straight up. I can see that now my angle is showing as 90 degrees, so it's perpendicular to that first line. I need it to go one inch, so I'll press one on the keyboard and enter. There's my one inch line vertical. Okay, the next line is coming to the left. Nice and straight. Again, I see it's marked 90 degrees. It's perpendicular to the previous line. Press 1 and enter. Set my line vertical again. 1, enter. To the left, 90 degrees. 
This line has to be two inches. Enter. Now I'll bring this line back down and connect it by clicking when I see the green dot showing it's snapping to that end of the first line that I created. I'll click. All right, there's our first sketch for this part. We're all set at this point to extrude that out to the thickness of one inch. So we'll finish this sketch. Click the house to go to the home view there. And click extrude. Already, the extrude tool is set for one inch. So this is all good. We'll click OK. All right, with that, the first chunk of work on this part is complete. We have this part here. Okay, second chunk of work. We have to create this rectangular uh, portion that sticks out from what we just drew. Uh, looking at the plan, we know that it's 1.5 inches tall. We know that it's 1 inch wide. And it starts right at this, this bottom corner. So it's going to go, uh, we'll start at that same point with a rectangle tool. Move up and to the right, and we'll make a, a rectangle that's one inch wide, 1.5 inches tall. And then we'll extrude that. If the entire object is three inches, uh, we already have this one inch part because we're going to start on this face of it. Uh, we know that uh, this has to be two inches long. This is going to be three inches minus the one inch that uh, we're already starting on here. So let's start a 2D sketch. We'll click on this face of the object. And then we'll click the rectangle tool and bring the cursor down to that bottom left corner. When you see the green dot, as it snaps to that corner, we'll click, start bringing the mouse up and to the right. And we'll press 1, tab. 1.5, enter. All right, and that rectangle is all we need on this sketch before we extrude. So click Finish Sketch, and Extrude. And again, for this object here, for this uh, rectangular extrusion, uh, we have to go two inches. So I'll change that to two. That looks good. Click OK. Right, and there the second chunk of work on this part's done. We've got one more to go, which is adding that circular hole. Again, on the multi view, it's a one inch diameter hole, and it's uh, one inch in from the side edge, three quarters of an inch down from the top edge. Uh, we'll do that with a new sketch. Click Start 2D Sketch right on this face of that rectangular extrusion we just created. I'll zoom in a little bit here. Okay, click the circle tool. We'll bring your cursor towards the middle of this face, but the exact location doesn't matter too much because we'll fix it with dimensions in just a minute. I'll click once to start the center point. And then as I move the mouse, the circle grows as I move the mouse outward. With a one inch diameter circle, I'll press one and enter. Now I have my one inch diameter circle. The circle is the correct size, but it's not yet in the correct location. Uh, so we're going to need a couple more dimensions to do that. Click the Dimension tool. We'll bring our cursor down towards the center point. And be careful not to click the diameter dimension. Uh, click just on the center point. It'll highlight white as you're over it. And if you click, it should highlight blue. So we'll click on the center point. And I'm going to click on this top edge to start. And as soon as I click on that edge, I'll see a dimension for 
the distance between the center point and that edge, right? Bring that dimension outside the part. Click to place the dimension. And this dimension needs to be 0.75. You can type in 0.75, enter. We also need that one inch dimension from the edge. So still with the dimension tool, I'll click again on that center point. It highlights blue. I'll click on this side edge. Click there. And I'll bring my dimension up outside of the part. Click to place it. And I'll press one on the keyboard and enter. Okay, at this point we have the circle that is the correct diameter in the correct location and we're ready to finish the sketch and complete our final extrusion. Click extrude. We'll click on the circle. We'll click on cut. So right now we're ready to use the extrusion tool to remove that material. Click OK, and we have our completed part. All right, at this point, you're done with another part. Don't forget to save your work. Click File, Save, right, and save your work. Also, don't forget to take that snipping tool screenshot to turn into Google Classroom. Very good work. See you next time.